Hi, welcome back to Linux. We're continuing with our installing WordPress, well, actually learning system administration through installing WordPress in this lesson. So we already created our backup script. A couple of things we may want to do with a backup script is we may want to prune files after a certain period of time. Now, there are several ways of doing this, and we can say prune all except a certain one, or we can move a certain file over, um, and that's what we'll do here, is we're gonna create a, and this is just adding, by the way, this is adding to our backup script, so we go over here and, and sys backup, and then this T option here, I'm gonna change that back over to the, right there, TA, and I'm gonna put that to a double, greater than double greater than means that it will append to the file not overwrite the file so now at this point we're going to create long term storage and we are going to prune backup files all right so two things we want to do is create long term storage and to avoid typing things over we're just going to grab that code right there look over here and we're gonna look at op backups and we're seeing if, if it doesn't exist with the op backups and we're gonna call something you know yearly kind of situation then go over and uh, make a directory P backups yearly or long term something of that sort right so there we go and we'll go create that directory now that we've got that directory created let's go ahead and move our files over there and we'll say, in this case, the first two files we get in a directory, the first two files that we get out of different kinds, then we'll go ahead and grab those, or the first files we get of a different kind. So how do we find that? Well, let's go ahead and look at this. So I'm gonna save this, and so it holds for a moment here. I'm gonna go look in this directory. How do I determine back backups? Which I shouldn't say how do I determine, because there are an infinite number of ways to determine <laughs> your, your files here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for file system in WordPress. So I'm gonna look for file system in WordPress and I'm just gonna do this uh, ls-1, which is just show one, opt, backups. And when I do that, I'm gonna say grep4, and this is a dash capital E, because I'm using a, a little regular expression here. And I'll say file system, pipe, WordPress, that means or WordPress, find those two things, right? And press enter. And sure enough, it finds those two files. Now, what if I have more than this? So if I've got more of those, I'll just, uh, I'll copy one of these really fast. And I'll say that this one is actually 422. There. Uh, oops, I'm in the wrong directory. Let me go over to op backups. I'll copy that one and I'll copy the other one too. Uh, we'll just do the other one and we'll say that, uh, which one I call that? WordPress. Or I didn't. Server one. Check the directory there. Yeah, there it is. So I'm gonna copy this one. So I'll say, copy that. And I'm gonna say that that is also 422. So technically, I guess I should back up 422 at this point. So I go through and I look and I got four files. Now, if I go through this LS right here and I look at this LS op backups, which once again, this is gonna list in a single column, just the file names themselves, and the directory opt backups, and it's going to pipe the output into grep, which is global regular expression print dash E, the capital E is for regular expressions in this case. And we're gonna look for file system or WordPress. So I'm gonna press enter right there and all of those come up. Now what if I type M1 on there? So I only get one on there and if I type M2 on there, then oh look, I get those two files because of the way they're named. Because the way they're named, that's how it goes through. Now what's the M2 option? Well, if you type man grep, you can look at all the options there and we'll go down to the dash M right there. And the M is the max count option. So stop reading a file after a number of matching lines. Okay, well, that works fine. We can use that maybe. 
right? Maybe we can go through and we can pull off those two files there. We can also just do it with file system with an M1 or WordPress with an M1. Whatever makes you happy, you can do it all kinds of ways. So let's go back into our, into our backup file here. So we're gonna go back over to backup, VI, sys, I'll do root, sys backup. Just make sure you get the path right. And back over here, I'm gonna say, okay, look at those. And when we find those, we're gonna get two files out of that. Well, I can make a for loop out of this and I can say, let's just do one, let's just do one. And I'm gonna do one for file system and one for WordPress because that was about to get complex. <laughs> it was about to get really, really complicated really fast. Um, which is not bad. It totally works and it actually makes the code a lot shorter, but I don't want to go nuts with this. So let's go ahead and say, if not exist opt backups yearly, and um, I'm going to put the, I'll have to put something here for this right here. So delete that. DD is delete. P is put. So if you want to, you know, put things, whatever. I'm going to set that as a variable. So I'm going to say uh, var year, uh, let's say var yearly file equals that right there. So what I did is I just set this variable equal to the output of this command. And just so you know what that command is going to output, I'm going to pop out of here so you can look at it. You can see what this command outputs. That command gives us that first file. The reason it gives us the first file is because we're listing the files. And when we list those files in order, they're going to come in alphabetical and numerical order. And we're going to say, find the first one there. And then, which if you want to be sure, you can go through and sort if you just want to really be sure. Uh, that way you can sort the files there and you'll be definitely sure that they're alphabetical and numerical order. So we got this right here and that gives us that single file. So I'll throw the sort in there, probably because eh, it'd probably be good practice. So we we'll do the sort right there. Once again, this is up to you. You can do this. I've never done it this way specifically. So, whatever you know floats your boat with this one um, feel free to go for it now over here I'm gonna say if this file does not exist in the uh, yearly backups then put it there that's it if then and I'm just gonna say CP uh, whatever that file is I gotta take out the yearly over to yearly Right, so I guess so over here. There, copy the output of this command to op backups yearly. And we'll do something a little fun this time. We're gonna do it else. So I'll type in else echo the yearly backup already exists. Exists. And then buy, just like that. We'll get to pruning in just a second. So let's go ahead and run our backup script. So let's see if I have tree installed. Okay, I don't. Let me get tree really fast. So tree will let you see the entire directory contents at once. So I'll type tree opt like this, and you can see what we've got going on all in one little picture. So it's just a really nice little neat thing here. So let's go ahead and run our backup. So I'm gonna do a root sys backup. I'm running it from root, so I'm giving it absolute path. All slashes, whenever you put a slash at the beginning, that is an absolute path. If you don't use a slash at the beginning, then you're in a relative path. So absolute relative. We're gonna use an absolute path here. Press enter and ta-da, it ran, right? It did not say that it already exists. 
So in that case, let's go to tree. And sure enough, now it exists. It made it. Now I'm going to run it again. Root back up. And it says, oh, the yearly backup already exists. If you saw what happened right there, I ran this. The yearly direct directory and the backup did not exist up here, so it wasn't there. So when I ran it, it created it, so there was no output. Didn't tell me anything. But when I ran it the second time, it said, oh, look, yeah, it's already there. And we can look, of course, nothing's changed, it's the same. But now it does exist and it tells us. So that's kind of a neat little thing there. We're not gonna use it uh, because uh, you don't want that printing out to your cron tab all the time. But, but this right here, this little else, if you wanna keep it in there for fun, uh, so you can go back and look at it later, you can just comment that L. If you comment it out, then it's not going to do anything. So you got the if, then, phi. That's it. Okay, pruning the backup files. Let's get to the prune, um, and we'll look at pruning backup files, and then we'll look at really fast, you know, an R syslog to a remote server, which is just really just simplistic. So we'll, we'll look at that too. So if we want to prune backup files, we need to have a way of finding backup files after a certain age. So if we want to find something after a certain age, I'm going to go ahead and pop back to the root directory. Um, we'll do a find statement, and we can tell find that we wanted to uh, oh look at a certain directory. So op backups, we'll say look in op backups, and look for a file, and look for a modification time. Yeah, modification time, because you've put modification minute, that's minute, and time is days. And we'll do, I don't know, uh, what do you want to keep? You want to keep uh, 120 days? So 120 days of backups. Anything that's over 120 days, then, or you keep 30 days backup. You want to keep 30? There you go. 30. Anything that's over 30 days, then what we'll do is we'll execute, uh, remove this braces right there removes whatever it finds here and then we end it by hitting backslash um, semicolon now it goes over there find finds nothing okay this right here is because i've got an alias on find to get rid of the alias option hit backslash and that way you won't have it so let's check our alias find so if you look my alias on find is time find it just gives the time here and if you don't want it to give the time, just put backslash in front of it. That negates an alias. So if you have an alias, like for find, then you don't want the alias. You can negate the alias by backslash, and it takes the command as its actual value, which is just find. So there we go. So if we want to find anything over 30 days and remove it, we can do that. Now, there might be an option here our yearly directory is in our opt backups directory. Uh-oh. So if we have our yearly backups in there, it'll just keep traversing, re, I guess you could say recursing, down into, well, traversing's probably fine. Traversing, recursing, down into the directories there. Remember that tree statement we ran earlier, that tree opt doing that? It'll go, you know, okay, I'm looking in backups. Oops, look, I'm looking at yearly and I found this file right here. I'm going to delete it. So it will do that. So how do we make it only look in one directory? So we only want it to look in that one backups directory. Do not traverse into other directories. Now, the most common way I know of having find only go into one directory is setting the max depth option. You might be like, we already get all these options. <laughs> well, you can always type man find <laughs> and when you've been using it for over a decade actually when you use this just for a few months you'll really be picking up on this uh, especially if you use it in any kind of uh, system administration role you'll pick up on these really fast oh and just something if anybody's interested what i used to do and i still do is i have a tech notes directory so i have a tech notes directory inside of an online file share and I put, anytime I've come up with a command that's especially useful with a whole bunch of weird options to it, I'll throw it in my tech notes directory. So whether it be, 
you know, disabling the graphical interface for a different kind of operating system or something of this sort, you know, bam, I'll pop that in tech notes. All right, so bada bing, let's keep moving. So let's move on, move on down here, and what we're gonna look for is max depth. So I'm gonna do a search. The way I do a search is I print forward slash, by hitting forward slash, I can type max depth, enter, and you can look over here, and it says max depth level. It says descend at most levels, a non-negative number integer, levels of directories below the starting point. Max depth zero means only apply the test actions to the starting points themselves. We generally would probably want one there for um, to go through and do do the level there. So we can try that out. We can do a find. We just dash max depth one. All right, we can try that and be sure we got it right. Max depth and. Yep, mat dash, max depth, not a double dash, which is kind of strange. And there's no equals or anything, it's just a number, just an integer after that, so that's fine. So we run through and do this, but how do we know, really? So let's say it's been a max minutes of anything that was created over one minute ago, right? And I'm gonna say not remove it, but echo it. So let's look at that, and now it finds some things for us. I'm going to take off, and what I did here, as I said, look for a modification minute of anything older than one minute. So you get that one minute old. Execute echo on what you find. So to separate that out, execute echo on what you find, and that's just the ending part. So over here, find something in op backups, only one directory deep only look for files and only look for files that are one minute old or older. When you find those files, then execute echo on those files, just like that. So you do that. Now let's take off the max depth and see if it finds our yearly backups. So I'm going to take off the max depth there and sure enough, our yearly backup comes in right there. So now we have our yearly backup. Now we, we don't, we're not doing the WordPress yet, so we need to include the WordPress in our yearly backup, but that's just a matter of copying the code and changing the name. So now we have the find statement right up here for max depth to prune, well, we don't want like one minute, but we have the idea to prune our stuff. So I'll grab this one right there. Oh, that was pretty good. I'll grab that one because we're doing 30 days, so why don't I just go and do that one? Okay, VI sys backup. Okay, root sys backup. And over here we have our prune backup files and open here. Well, DD for delete, delete a line. And I've got the find statement there. So we've got the find, make it a little larger. Op backups, max depth of one. Anything older than 30 days, remove it. That's it, right? Now over here, of course, we've got our backups where we've got our file system and we need to create, I'm gonna go D, undo P, and I'll make this SQL right there. So now we've got var file and var SQL equals, and I'm gonna look for WordPress. Then I've got the if then else. I'm gonna delete that now. Phi, and then down here, I can't move it down here just to keep them separated. And then do the same thing over here. I'm gonna just grab this and that. And what I did is I just popped that down there. Of course, over here, I'm looking for Y SQL, just like this, and Y SQL, like that. So now we run this, it should back up both the file system file and the SQL file for yearly backups, and it should prune anything older than 30 days. So let me go ahead and move that up like that. And 
that's it. Now, I think we're using three pound symbols. Yeah, we're using three pound system symbols right there for these headings. So I'll just do that to stay consistent. If you're using Markdown or another language, then, you know, whatever you'd like to do there. But I'm going to save that now and I'm going to run slash root sys backup. And it says, oh, can't find it. What did we type wrong there, right? So root sys backup, can't find it. Well, let's find out, does it exist? So opt backups. We have WordPress and SQL GZ 2024-0422. WordPress, all right. Let's troubleshoot our script. Let's look at why couldn't it find it? Look at backup, sort. Look for WordPress, the first encounter of that. Then copy it. If it doesn't exist over there, then copy it here. Well, that looks right. And I do have everything typed correctly, right? Let's see if we come up here. So we're going to type this. And we're going to see if it comes up. Okay, that comes up. But the path is missing. Let's make sure we got the path in there. Do copy. Oh, look at that. The path is missing. Does that one have the path? If that doesn't have the path, we got to fix that one too. Oh, look at that. Neither of those have the path in there. So if you're running it from a different directory, it would not find these. So we're going to need to pop in this opt backup slash. We need to do that. So hit I right there. I'll throw that in. And what I'm doing here is I'm just highlighting the code that I want to copy. And I'm copying that over just like that. So now we're going to run it and we'll see. We'll see if that fixed it. There we go. So now we run that several times. We'll do a tree, opt, and we'll check it out. And sure enough, we now have backups with yearly backups pruning at every 30 days. So ta-da, that's all there is to it. And this, uh, this pruning at every 30 days, if you're gonna do it this way, the yearly, you're actually gonna have monthly backups there. So this is actually monthly because every 30 days, will give you uh, monthly backups instead of yearly. I guess I should mention that because I did change that when uh, I just changed that on the fly when we were going through and doing it. So this yearly, if we want to make that monthly with the pruning, I mean yearly with the pruning, then over here we can do like a 364 something, anything 364 days or younger you can go ahead and remove it. So we can do that. Well, I hope that this has helped. There are several ways to run these scripts and a lot of different options. This is just one of a lot. So there are many, many, many ways of doing this. I look forward to talking to you next time and have a great week.